How's everybody doing tonight? It is Wednesday, and welcome to the Break Brothers. I want to thank uh, anybody who's joining us tonight, whether you're a first-time viewer or returning. I want to thank you, everybody uh, the same, and we want to say we're almost to 200 subscribers, and we're super proud of that, and I think we're at 196 or something like that. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, we have these tweener videos in between our eBay breaks, and uh, this is one of them. And I think, let's see what I got in my notes. I got to actually got some notes here. I don't want to forget anything. Uh, we're going to go through some mail call here. We just got uh, these little three items here that uh, came in the mail. We also actually have four now I think of it. Um, going to announce a new mixer we got coming up that's going to be, I think, is going to be absolutely great. And what else we got going on? We got a redemption here. Uh, we, we, <laughs> I gotta talk quickly about Leaf when we do these cards here real quick. Leaf is amazing. If you guys haven't really dug into the Leaf products, it, it took us a little bit for the Break Brothers to get into the Leaf products. They're amazing. <laughs> they really are. I absolutely love them. Uh, my brother, uh, Jeff, the other half of the Break Brothers loves them. Uh, we're actually gonna go into some cards that he recently received here in a break. And uh, then we're gonna bust a uh, Hit Parade uh, series 1 2019 double header, which is two baseball helmets. There's a full size one, and then tucked inside of it is a mini helmet. So we're going to see what we have there. And like I said, I think the, the mixer we got coming up is going to be a particular interest to you guys that love baseball. It's going to be some really good stuff. It's going to be a little bit on the high end on some of it. Um, and we're going to give away some memorabilia with it too. Heck, we've been doing a lot of lately. We've got a lot of memorabilia that is already in here in stock, and we got some more uh, coming, it seems like, daily. So. Uh, we'll share some of that with you, and then um, that's about it. And then we'll go, let you guys get out of here. We also have uh, two breaks coming up this weekend. We have on Friday, uh, Tops Update, and that is a half case of the Fat Packs. So we're getting those rookies back out to you before the end of the season, and the Series uh, 1 of 2020 is around in another month or so. And um, then Sunday again. Oh, I'm sorry, not Sunday, uh, Saturday. We're finishing up the other half of that case, so... A uh, ton of rookies coming out of there. There's a ton of good ones in it. Uh, so if you're looking for any of those guys before the year end, uh, take a look at that. All right, guys. So let's jump right in here. Uh, we've got three quick piles of stuff to go through. The first I want to get to is this one right here. Now, this is, uh, if you caught our New Year's Eve broadcast, there's a, um, uh, we did like a kind of a rebreak of stuff we exchanged for Christmas and that. And you'll find a video in there. And there's a Topps Trinity in there. And Topps Trinity I absolutely love. And um, in any case, there was a redemption we got in it. So on January 2nd, January 2nd, we put in the, uh, I put in one, both myself and uh, my brother, we both got redemptions in some of our products. So I put this in with Leaf on January 2nd. On January 7th, the redemption showed up. Five days later, <laughs> including the delivery time, the redemption showed up. I have never, ever seen a more responsive company, and that's not the first time. It wasn't five days last time, but a week, two weeks, which is, you, you guys, if you've sent redemptions and you know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, to have it show up in less than a week from when you put it in, or at holiday season? <laughs> Fantastic. So anyway, what we got here is a Ryan Weathers for San Diego. And it's a nice patch, a nice two color or three color patch, I should say. And um, let's see if I can get a little bit in focus here. Let me adjust some. Can I kill that lighting? Let's see if I can kill that lighting at all. That didn't help a whole lot. All right, let me. Uh, we'll turn that light back on there. There we go. All right. So anyway, Ryan Weathers, pretty cool. But that was a redemption. Showed up again in less than a week from putting it in. I can't say enough about Leaf with that. That's just tremendous nice on card auto on top of that not a sticker uh, just great you know anyway what else we got here uh, let's go this pile so this one is uh, from the other half of the break brothers Jeff he received these out of an immaculate break and these are yeah, Mecco break. And uh, these were from San Diego. Now, it wasn't a Tatis Jr. in there, but there were uh, a, some pretty cool cards nonetheless, I have to say. So he got an on-card Luis Urias. It's a nice one uh, to see. It's pretty big. It's like a shadow box type of card. It's, you can see it's pretty thick. 
So uh, and that one is 41 of 99. Uh, next up, we got a Jacob Nix, and that's a 38 of 49. See the little patch up there. And then <laughs> he got a nameplate, one of three. How sweet is that? Yeah, apparently is on the inside, that little bit of fluff there. So that is pretty nice. Again, that's immaculate. That's, uh, I can kind of see it a little bit. There you go. Very nice, that card. So those are some of his break results that showed up today. And lastly, uh, right at the same time these were purchased, um, Luis Robert. I don't know if it's Roberts or Robert. It's, I guess I'll find out pretty quick. Um, had purchased a couple of his cards, and they just sh showed up. Droid as he had... Uh, Sign that contract when let's see here. I want to make sure I get the numbers right at the three levels of baseball this year a ball, double A, and triple A. Uh, let's see, uh, he batted 328 with a 376 on base percentage, a 624 slugging, a 1.001 OPS, um, and kind of the hard numbers 108 runs, 32 home runs, 92 RBIs and 36 stolen bases. So 32, 36. 32 home runs, 36 stolen bases. Um, he should be a force. So they extended him out uh, to six years. It's a $50 million deal. And there's two team options for $20 million after that. So um, they say he might be better than Eloy Jimenez. Uh, Jimenez, is, I think he came in fourth for the Rookie of the Year and was had two pretty extended stints on the... Um, and the DL, and he still ended up with about 31 home runs. So, uh, and they say he might be better than him. So, if nothing else. They're gonna be pretty stacked with some young talent. Michael Kopech will be there next year, and uh, it should be a pretty good year for the South Side. So, any case, let me show you a couple cards that came, and this is the first of them. It's a quad relic. It is numbered 239 to 299. Kind of see there. Got one pin stripe. It looks like you know two different types of material there. Those three are of one. Three panels are of one type of material, and then the uh, pinstripe one looks a little bit different. And this one's pretty cool. This is a VIP National. It's a four of five. There you go. And it's weird. It's uh, I mean I've seen uh, you know relics like this in bags before, but it's like, sealed. It's not like a team bag where you got a lip you can open or something. It's like sealed on each end. So uh, anyway. Pretty cool. Refractor, 4 of 5. It's a relic. Like a shadow box. You can see it's a pretty deep card. But pretty nice. Came at a really decent price because he hadn't signed that deal yet. So it was kind of uh, serendipitous. But anyway, those are those two cards. And uh, let's see. Let me talk about the mixer real quick and then we're going to get on those helmets. The helmet, the helmets looked really cool. I'm kind of really interested to see what comes out of it. Um, Hit Parade has been kind of hit-miss for us. They're different, they're different products, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens. So, anyway, this mixer we got coming up. We haven't listed it yet on eBay, but it's going to be a pretty good one. It's baseball. I believe it's, like, ten boxes. It's going to be two of Bowman Best, two of Inception, uh, one of Leaf Trinity. And, again, that's this one. Uh, let me get the card back out. You guys can see more of it on our channel, but... The Trinity one is this, and it's six autographs per box, and quite often they're these RPAs. So, um, and this, uh, let's see, the Trinity is 2018, and I did that that's so we can get the uh, out to you guys, the Acunas and um, guys like that. I think there's even like Tim Tebow's, and um, I'm trying to think who else is in there. Uh, anyway. Is a pretty good amount of guys in the 2018 product, and we want to get that out to you. They're all cool patches like this. I think you get like maybe one or two autographs, and the other four are these type of patches. So, uh, super nice. And uh, sometimes they're all six of them. Sometimes just there's all kinds of craziness. Love this product though. And let's see. We so we get there's one of there and there. Then we got three of uh, 2017 archive signature postseason edition. Now these are guys that are October heroes but they're all retired. It's equivalent to the retirement product that they have this year, but it's a 2017 archive signature postseason. It's just postseason heroes and uh, retired players, retired postseason guys, you know, uh, heroes. So 
nobody that's active. So that should be pretty cool. Then two more boxes of 2017 Archive that are just the standard active edition has like the first year. Obviously, you've guys like Judge in that. So uh, I think Ben Attendee, all those guys, 2017 rookies will be in there. And then let's see what else. Uh, I think that's it. That's 10 boxes right there. Bowman Best, Inception, the Archives, five of those, two Inception, two and one Leaf Turning. Okay, so that leaves us with some uh, memorabilia too. So we're going to throw in some memorabilia. We haven't decided what yet. We're looking at several of the options. We've got three or four signed jerseys here still. Uh, we've got some mixed uh, different helmets. We're going to show you one right now that just recently came in. This is super cool. Uh, it's Logan Morrison, and I know it's kind of like, ah, yeah, he's decent. He's okay. He's, uh, I don't know if he's with the Marlins still or, I honestly haven't kept track of him, but two years ago with the Marlins, I think it was, or with the Rays, I think it was actually, uh, he had 38 home runs. So he, he does have a little bit of power. His nickname is Lomo, but check out this helmet. So, um, it's signed, obviously, uh, Logan Morrison. You can kind of see it there on the brim. And this, this thing is kind of a case. It's a stand also. So, signed uh, 2005 Marlins draft pick number 666. And I thought, wow, that's that can't be right. And uh, it turns out it is. He was. 22nd round, pick 666. How crazy is that? Excuse me, guys. I got to get a sip of something. I just dried out on me. I'm going to put this down for two seconds. Let me grab this real quick. Sorry about that, guys. So, anyway, pretty interesting with that. So, on top of that, he's also gone with the standard on the top, Lomo, which is, again, pretty cool. Nice to have another inscription. That, you think that's not crazy enough? Check that out. 2008 stats. 332 average, 162 hits, 13 home runs, 74 RBIs, 402 on base, 38 doubles. Pretty nuts, huh? Lomo. Stats. And then that inscription. But wait, there's more. Woo! <laughs> 2008 Florida State League batting champion. 2008, was it Florida State League? Something cross out <laughs> champ. I don't know what that is. Uh, MVP and Marlins organization rookie of the year. So how crazy is that? It's got 10 inscriptions on this bad boy. We're thinking of throwing this one in. It's pretty new to our inventory, but it's a pretty interesting piece. And um, any case, we're thinking that may end up being one of them. So let's see what else we got going here. All right, I think that's it, guys. Let's gonna get on this uh, this box now. So let me show you what this is. This is the. Uh, it's a huge box. You can see it from the, the picture in the, when we uh, posted this thing. It's a huge box. So this is the. Uh, it's number. Uh, this is gonna how I'm gonna have to do it. Fourteen of fifty. <laughs> And it's, uh, we'll see what's in it. It's a double uh, header series one baseball helmet. And you can see there's a full size helmet and then there's a mini helmet encased in here. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing open. Let me see if I can find the, uh, the razor. Where was that? All right, hang on, guys. One second. This thing's just kind of unwieldy. All right. So we're going to get this bad boy open. Curious what's in this thing. And again, because there's a full-size helmet in here, that's why the box is so big. If it was just... Uh, you know, mini helmet, it wouldn't have a need to be this big. It's tough to put in scale here. Um, it's fairly significant. But I want to thank everybody again for uh, joining us tonight. It is a Wednesday night. A couple of nights from now, we'll be breaking again the Tops update. And then keep an eye open. Uh, subscribe to our channels on uh, eBay and here on YouTube. And again, we're trying to get to 200. We're almost there. So if you haven't uh, subscribed, please do. And... Um, 
that's normally what we do. We also we also have a proper online store uh, that we're building up now, and that is at www.thebreakbrothers.com. And we also have a Twitter account that we uh, gotta get better about. And I'm sure we'll go to an Instagram, and we do have a new Facebook group, which um, again we just launched it, so there isn't much going on there yet. But please check in with that, and uh, we'll be holding, uh, showing off some of the cards we've been getting and uh during the breaks and also featuring breaks that we probably will only will feature on there as opposed to ebay so all right so here we are guys there is a bag in the box and i don't know if they're both let's see how i can do this effectively ah there we go i don't have much clearance here so it looks like they're both in there. And it is. That is it. Oops. All right, so there we go. All right, it feels like the brim's over here, and it does feel like well, there's an ear, and there is another one in there. So here we go. We haven't opened this one before, or this, uh, this configuration. Uh... Which end is up here? Oh, okay, it's just a. Uh, that is weird. It's, one of the, uh, it's like a backpack configuration. You think I'm gonna parade around in this? Ah, hit parade. Maybe they think I'm gonna wear it. All right, so here we go, guys. Looks like we've got a Detroit. Is the first one that is an Al K line. Eighteen time All Star. That is a full size helmet. And there's another one that's going to be inside of this. And that. Is Montcastle? Who the heck is Montcastle? Is that right? That I am not. Oh, Ryan Montcastle, right there. I am not familiar with Ryan R Montcastle. To be honest with you guys, not sure about that one. Hmm, interesting. Let me uh, do a quick look here. Ryan Mountcastle, 22 years old for Baltimore. Let's see what level he's at. Looks like in 2019 he was in Triple A, and he is not a pitcher. He is an offensive player. Looks like. Who is he? Shortstop, third, and first baseman. That's not good. Utility guys usually don't do a whole lot. Um, but that's not this guy. Holy cow. All right, I stand corrected. So he was at... Um, wait a minute. Oh, I take that back. He's in the major leagues. Okay. How do I not know this guy? Interesting. Okay. He had a, in 2019, he had a 312 batting average with a 344 on base. And he had 25 home runs, 83 RBIs, 81 runs, two stolen bases. He uh, has a huge hole in his bat. He had 130 strikeouts versus 24 uh, walks. So there is a little bit of issue there, but solid numbers, really solid numbers for a. Uh, uh, infielder, well, I guess if you're a third or first baseman, that's you kind of expected to bring that power. And shortstop, that's probably about on par these days. So, uh, for a decent one. Interesting. I'm sorry. I, I want to take that back, folks. It looks like that was at uh, Norfolk. Norfolk, folks. I'm sorry. All right. Well, he's at Triple A. All righty then. So. Have to hang on to that one. We'll see what happens. 
That is a mini helmet. And again, we got LK line, 18 time, all star. Pretty nice, significant helmet. It's uh, not really like a souvenir necessarily, uh, like you'd find in like a souvenir stand at a, at a ballpark. It actually seems to be uh, got a little bit of weight to it. Pretty nice. Now, K line, obviously a Hall of Famer, so and absolute Detroit legend. All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. I'll let you guys go. Thank you again for joining us. Keep an eye out uh, for Friday for our uh, update, Tops Update 2019. Get those rookies. Uh, those have been going really well, those breaks. And that'll be the other half on Saturday night. And then next week, I imagine, at some point, we're going to be having our 10-box uh, mixer. So keep an eye open for that. That's going to be a pretty big one. Uh, we'll list it properly, obviously, on eBay. And we'll probably put something up on our website on www, uh, w, the, uh, the Break Brothers. Uh, dot com and then also on our facebook it might be our good uh, excuse to start using that a little bit more and we'll probably put the details up there as well so everybody take care you guys have a good night we're halfway through the week and it's just a little bit further to the weekend uh take care if you're up in uh, where it's a little bit cooler than uh, it is where we are in south florida be safe driving and we'll talk to you again soon guys see ya